Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic and in today's video we're going to be talking about installing mods and getting them to work on your PC version of RDR2. Uh, again, this has been a highly requested video from a lot of the users uh, that saw my other video about enriching mods inside of the game. That was kind of a showcase of what's going on. But uh, with that, if you would like to support me, please like, comment, subscribe. And also there is a Patreon in the link below with a RDR2 clean chapter 2 start. Uh, none of the quests are done. I do have the Legends of the East Satchel unlocked as well as some items that you can go ahead and read in the description of that Patreon post as well as instructions how to install that save as well. So first off we're gonna have to go ahead and close down our game and exit totally in order to go ahead and start working on installing these mods. So we want to go ahead and get some resources that we're going to have to utilize in order to go ahead and start this process. So one of the first resources you need is an ASI loader. This is community script hook rdr2.net. You're going to go ahead and download it from um, script, um, excuse me, Nexus mods. So go to Nexus mods under the Red Dead Redemption and create an account. You can go ahead and uh, once you create this account, you're going to recognize that this virus scan here, this is a very safe site to download your mods from. Uh, there's going to be a description of the mod as well as, you know, some permissions, credits, channel log, donations that you can make to the modders themselves. Uh, if you show them some support, that'd be really awesome. Once you do that, you can go ahead and download the file for the RDR2 script hook and do a manual download. It's going to tell you to download uh, in the slow version. That's fine. Doesn't really take that long to go ahead and do so. The next piece of hardware that you're going to need uh, for some of the mods that are going to require more assets than just scripts in order to be installed is Lenny's Mod Loader, and you can find that at rdr2mods.com. Uh, I don't believe you need an account for this, but this uh, site is safe to use. You can also download more RDR2 mods from this site, but I prefer uh, Nexus mods over them for the virus scan in general. You're going to also need a .rar file extractor. I use this in my IT career, and I am able to go ahead and uh, utilize this free resource that you can go ahead and download here at freerarextractprog.en.softonic.com. You can go ahead and Google search this and just put in free RAR extract frog and you'll go ahead and find the software, install it. It's going to help you go ahead and uh, get the mods that you're downloading um, extracted. Another thing to note, if you have WinZip installed and uh, you have surpassed your trial on that, you want to go ahead and uninstall it by going to control panel and going into uninstall a program. You're going to find it down in the W's. What you're going to want to do is right click and uninstall that. And that'll go ahead and remove the file from uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11. The reason being is that Windows 10 and Windows 11 automatically have within the base OS a zip uh, extractor built in. So once we get that done, we're going to go into our downloads folder where we just downloaded LML and script hook. We're going to go ahead and right click, extract on both okay and they should end up inside of your downloads folder what we want to go ahead and do is install script hook first so what we're going to do is we're going to have to locate our red dead redemption 2 folder this is going to look like this in the address bar but yours is probably going to be c colon slash steam slash steam apps slash common slash rdr2 and you're going to find all of your game files here okay so once we got this open, we're going to go to script hook, open up the next file, open up the next file, and we're going to copy scripts, script hook rdr.net asi, the configuration settings file .net here, and the dll, okay? And we're going to right click copy, and we're going to right click paste inside of our Red Dead Redemption 2 game folder. And what is this going to do is this is an ASI folder. It's basically going to tell Red Dead Redemption that a mod is uh, changing some aspects or adding some aspects to the game. And it's going to load the scripts that you're going to download from Nexus Mods. And Nexus Mods will show you what its dependencies are. 
So if we go and click on the main page for all the mods that you can see, and I do popular of all time, um, it's going to give you a description of what this is. Scripts are super easy to install. And then you're going to have stuff like player tools, gameplay effects, and changes. You can change practically everything in the game, uh, even add uh, specific tattoos, haircuts, uh, different characters, uh, weapons, weapon sounds, all kinds of ambient weather. Anything you want, you can find here, and there are thousands of mods. There's some stuff that I went ahead and downloaded in order to go ahead and enrich my experience inside of the game, and I'll kind of get to the list later in the video. But once you have a script uh, downloaded from the main Nexus Mods page, we'll go back into downloads and let's say we downloaded the no sliding mod basically which makes your character not slide on ankle high heels um, into their death off a mountain so once we downloaded this and extracted just like we extracted the other files we can go ahead and get the no sliding ASI copy and just simply paste this into this folder and script hook what it's going to automatically do and you it's pretty much just drag drop and it's going to pick up those ASI uh, files and automatically start them so that when you load into your game and you go and run up a mountain you're not going to slide down anymore it's that simple to install these ASI scripts so that being said let's look at Lenny's mod loader and how to install a mod that requires it so inside of Lenny's mod loader once we get it started uh, actually need to back up a couple steps here so let's go back to downloads once we downloaded LML you know extracted it we're gonna open this you do not need anything else in here you just need the mod manager and you can drag this mod manager to your desktop for easier access once you have that you can go ahead and open the file itself on the desktop and you're gonna look at mod manager UI okay so what you also need to do inside of your folder for your RDR2 inside of your Steam apps is you want to create the LML folder, okay? So once we create this, we're going to say, okay, this is where we want everything. We're going to copy this address. And once you get um, LML started and open, it's these three buttons are going to be grayed out as well as the top button. And it's going to ask you right off the bat, like, okay, we need a valid game folder in order to go ahead and install mods so what you're going to do is you're going to use the path from this here and we'll go up one and we're going to say okay you can click right here and then you can highlight uh, come on you can highlight all of this control c on your keyboard go back over to lenny's mod and control v Okay, and it's going to paste this address in there and it's going to tell Lenny's mod this is where my game folders are located. This is where all everything is going to be installed. And once that's done, Lenny's mod should look something like this. And then uh, to install a mod that requires this, all we're simply going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on downloads. And we're going to click on the plus sign. And we're going to go ahead and go into our downloads folder where we have a specific mod that told us you know that this is a pretty much anything that has a anything other than scripts is going to be an LML folder that you're going to go ahead and install so that would be something like online content unlocker you can go ahead and click that open that and then click on this folder select folder and what it's going to do is it's going to show you right here I don't want to uh, do this again or maybe I should it, it wouldn't hurt it so we're going to go to online content unlocker all right and then we're going to click ok and then yeah replace files the same destination and it's going to say installed so we can go ahead and check out our mods tab and we can go ahead and enable or disable whatever mods are being installed and the reason why lenny's mod loader is utilized is because it replaces assets inside of the game files itself and or changes the function of certain uh, game elements so it's a much more in-depth Think of it as like taking Red Dead Redemption as a book and you're going to remove some pages from it and replace it with other pages in order to go ahead and kind of create the mod that is being described on the actual Nexus Mods webpage.
so that something like perfect pelts so instead of the game automatically loading uh, the way that animals are taken down and a star is removed from the quality of the pelt perfect pelts damage is basically going to tell the mod uh, tell the game that okay a player can go up to a rabbit shoot it with a shotgun and it will still be a three star uh, they can go ahead and shoot something, you know, they can unload an entire dual-wheel revolvers on an elk and it'll still be a three-star. So that's something that you can go ahead and utilize. Um, but once that's installed and Lenny's mod is, is, you know, saying that the mod has been installed right here. And you can see it here. You can check these off at any time. What it does is basically it restores that uh, version of RDR back to its original state and it will remove those uh, specific files that were altering the game itself. So once we got all that done then we're pretty much good to go at this point and everything should show up in your L uh, into your LML folder inside your downloader and all these mods will be here. Uh, there's a couple of things that I have and I just want to share with you at this point you're pretty much good to go and download mods at your own volition but remember Get them from Nexus Mods, and uh, if you get them from anywhere else and your computer crashes or you mess something up, then that's, you know, my disclaimer to you. Um, I showed you where to get stuff, and uh, now on to some of the mods that I use. So I use Ambient Gangs uh, file. What it does is it adds uh, gangs to the world itself and basically makes it so that they can run up on you at any time and start shooting you either in town or on the road. Uh, really makes it kind of uh, feel a lot more alive, especially uh, when you're traveling in different areas. And there will be different gangs for different areas. So the more north you go, you're going to face the army. Uh, you know, the more that you're in Valentine, you're going to run into a Driscoll. The more that you're in uh, Rhodes, you're going to run into uh, the Lemoyne gang, things like that. Metal Detector, Online Content Unlocker, and the uh, Red Dead Offline are all four resources that bring the online uh, weapon skins and improved bow and other things like that into the game itself, um, which is the offline version that we're all playing and makes it accessible, especially with the Metal Detector, which is something really cool where you can use the metal detector to find like gold bars, gold nuggets, uh, pendants, rings, or just trash like one bullet in the ground. Um, a lot of mods that I use are, let's see here, let's go back to RDR2. We have stage coaches. So stage coaches is one of those, um, and ambient money wagons will go ahead and add stage coaches with like grocery items or pelts or things of that nature uh, adds kind of that kind of flavor to the world itself that you can find multiple uh, and varying stagecoaches with varying loot, money, ambient stagecoaches uh, or ambient money wagons. Basically adds two wagons inside of the entire map that could have anywhere from whatever you specify. I specified between 200 and like $700 uh, if I should run into one of these uh, stage coaches, and um, a lot of them will have the weapon lockers on the back with the stage coaches in general, and that'll allow you to steal upwards from like twenty bucks to like a hundred dollars. Really cool item to have. Uh, we have all weapons unlocked, so that if you're starting the chapter two that I provided you in my Patreon, you can go ahead and get all weapons unlocked, so you can buy things like the Carcano uh, rifle and. Uh, the Navy revolver, things like that from the stores uh, give you access without having to build that story progression to build up to the weapons that you actually want to use in the game. And then we have <coughs> Bandana ASI. So Bandana ASI, what it does is it allows you to um, not gain or lose honor uh, when committing a crime. And if you have it on when you do a good deed, then you're not going to get the, the brownie points from it. Uh, I have bandithideouts.asi and bandit hideouts. Basically, what it does is it adds more uh, points for enemy gangs. So, like, we have all these different points here. There is a, a, a version that you can 
change in the exchange files to add zombies, uh, which was in which was featured in like the Halloween event for Red Dead Redemption 2 zombie, you know, danger nightfall or something like that and add zombies in the new Austin area. Uh, but it'll add a bunch of different points and the corresponding gangs, as you can see here from this map overlay of where uh, these gang hideouts are. So this one adds uh, not only the gang uh, occupying a point where there's actually resources like uh, gold bars or gold nuggets or there's, you know, specific um, relootable items that you can find out in the world. There's gangs there now. So that if you are going to go over here to uh, south of the, the hide trader, you know, the naturalist trader, and you're looking for those three gold nuggets, then there's going to be a gang there that's going to be hanging out. So there's all these different additions to the, the world that kind of makes it a little bit more fun and able to use all that ammunition that you guys have been hoarding, like myself, for the longest time. So this is a really cool mod to have. Uh, another mod that I have is uh, Bounties Expansion. So Bounties Expansion basically uh, reopens the, the bounties from each town in the game and they're replayable. Uh, there is a set amount of time between each bounty so you can't do them over and over and over. It'll take like one to two hours to reset but it allows you to do that. Uh, there also is weapons uh, locker at the fire at your regular camp. So this will make sure that if you're way up here in the boonies on this map that you can go ahead and exchange weapons at your leisure. Uh, another one that I have is contracts.asi which adds the ability for when you're in town for somebody to walk up to you and offer you a contract to assassinate another character within the vicinity of that town. That's something to keep an eye on. I also have uh, gold panning, which is inside of the game itself. And gold panning, what it does, and as you can see here, it adds the ability just, just to have like an immersion effect to go ahead and gold uh, pan gold at the many beautiful lakes and rivers that are inside of the game itself. And there's quite a few of them. So you can spend your time making money this way another and let the screen come back up mod that i have is hunting grounds and hunting grounds is really cool because hunting grounds what it will do is it will differentiate the size of the animal depending on its star rating so this makes three star grizzly bears wolves and cougars extremely large and terrifying uh to go ahead and take down it also um affects the area of where populations of animals are so that if you overhunt an area it's going to take a long time in order for that population to regrow something that's of an immersion effect there as well i do also have lockdown uh manager installed which basically makes it so that arthur morgan can go down into this area which is red in the normal game and explore uh new austin uh with that being said i have of course, the metal detector, which I explained, no bounties with masks. So this allows you to go ham on law enforcement and not get any uh, ridiculous amounts of money uh, in terms of a bounty or rob a train that only has like at max 150 bucks uh, and some change from the passengers. But then you rack up a $500 bounty from killing all the law enforcement and stuff like that. So this is a very cool mod to have. Uh, no high fall damage in case you're wandering around some of the locations that have secret items. You can go ahead and enable this. And in, this helps especially like when you fall off a cliff that you think you can survive. But you eventually end up you know, falling off and you haven't saved in a while. And you lose your pelts and stuff like that. So this helps out. No invisible snipers. This is good for, uh, again, like the lockdown. Once you enter an area... Uh, past the law enforcement that are hunting you down eventually like in Guarma, you're gonna get hunted by a sniper that will just kill you this removes that effect there uh, and allows you ex to explore these territories uh, again no sliding this is for those ankle high hills that you sometimes you jump to a ledge and then all of a sudden you're in a sliding motion and you slide off and die same thing it just allows you to you know have a better foothold 
And then we have remove speed limits, which basically lets you run around and camp uh, and nobody's getting pissed off at you for doing so. As well as uh, blasting through a town high speed on your horse. And we, of course we have all our script hooks. Script hook is going to go ahead and create its own proprietary files in order to tell the game, all right, this is what's going on, this is what's being installed. Of course, stagecoach, as we talked about. And then there's Trelawney's Way uh, Travel, which allows you to go ahead and visit Guarma from a NPC in St. Denis at any time. So that's something that you can go ahead and take a look at. So those are just some of the mods that I go ahead and use inside of my game that allow for a much more enriching experience. And I really do hope that you check out the Patreon because that file is there for you guys to go ahead and get a fresh Chapter 2 start with all your new mods and explore the game itself. I did have uh, a mod for the hunting wagon, but I felt that it was kind of odd because what it does is it basically will spawn like the Batmobile out of nowhere and it'll be right there next to your character. Even if you're in like high country, it'll try to be on the nearest road. Uh, and I think that was kind of like immersion breaking, so I just uninstalled that. But, you know, this is your game. You paid for it. You can mod it and play the way that you want to play. I hope this that this helped you out. Again, I'm going to go over some of the things that we installed here. So inside of our Red Dead Redemption folder, we downloaded the script hook. We talked about WinZip. We talked about the free RAR extract, extract frog to get software. We talked about where to download the mods, uh, what they're labeled as, scripts, or otherwise leading the LML folder. Um, and Nexus Mods requiring you to make an account in order to download this. This site is safe to use, and it offers a virus scan on every mod that you go ahead and download. I recommend it. Um, we also talked about LML and how to install mods that way. If you guys have any questions, uh, please ask them. And again, like, subscribe, comment, and we see you all in the next one.